Okay, good morning everyone. Today we will start with our reflection on the diary of Saint Faustina, but we will start with diary entry number 208. If you want to go back on the previous entries, you may watch our videos, live stream videos at the Divine Mercy Apostolate uh, Diocese of Emos page. So for this morning, we will read and uh, meditate on diary number 208. Oh, you small everyday sacrifices. You are to me like wild flowers, which I strew over the feet of my beloved Jesus. I sometimes compare these trifles to the heroic virtues, and that is because their enduring nature demands heroism. O mga maliliit na sakripisyo araw-araw para, para kang isang uh, ligaw na bulaklak na aking ikinakalat sa paanan ng aking pinakaiibig na si Jesus. Minsan ay inihahalin tulad ko ang mga maliliit na bagay na ito sa mga gawang kabayanihan sapagat ang kanilang kakayahang manatili ay nangangailangan ng kabayanihan. Okay, so inihalin tulad ni Faustina ang uh, inihalin tulad si Jesus ni Faustina sa isang bulaklak, wildflower. Ano ba yung wildflower? Ang wildflower ay uh, no, hindi siya tinatanim ko sa siyang tumutubo. May mga ilang mga uh, ilang varieties na kinukultivate na na ibig sabihin yung kinukulture or nagkakaroon sila experiments para kunin yung mga characteristics ng mga wildflower. But pwede rin yan sa uh, region. No? May mga regions na hindi pwede itong particular na bulaklak uh, wildflower na ito in Asia na pwede lang siya sa Amerika, parang ganun. But basically, they are strong. Uh, resistant sila no hindi mo yan kailangang alagaan kahit tapak-tapakan mo yan yung kanilang ano ay tubo at ang mga insects they will uh, they will uh, harness the potential ng kanilang mga flowers and then they will be the ones to spread no the the seeds para umano uli siya, tumubo uli siya somewhere. So, yung mga small sacrifices na, ter, uh, na ginawa ni Faustina, she compared it to the wildflowers. Maliliit lang. Usually, mga wildflowers, maliliit lang talaga yan. If you, uh, if you know, halimbawa, yung mga pero isang type ng lily na ang anliit lang talaga niya. Tingin ni Faustina, ito ay katulad. Her sacrifices, daily sacrifices, were like... Um, wildflowers which she offered every day to the feet of Jesus no so this was compared yung mga maliliit na yan yung mga maliliit na mga bagay na nangyayari sa kanya ay uh, mga uh, heroic virtues no katulad ng isang wildflower kahit anong ang gawin mo diyan no tutubo at tutubo yan kahit na sa harsh conditions weather conditions no di siya affected kasi yun yung kaniyang natural habitat at yun din yung kanilang kumbaga sa katawan naturalesa no so even if Faustina was suffering very hard every day you know small sacrifices you no know, she sees to uh, she sees them as something good no positive very positive she was very positive in her life Nakita natin in the past, we were discussing about how she was humiliated every day, how the sisters in the convent would bully her and yet uh, wala siyang ginagawa. No? She just took them uh, as it was no? without any revenge, without any hard feelings. So, nasasaktan siya, yes. Nagre-reklamo rin siya kay Jesus about her sufferings. But then at the end of the day, she would not let actually mga problems niya yung mga challenges that Faustina experienced in the convent were not actually those 
uh, of the creatures or, or or those bullying acts from the sisters na iba eh, mga spiritual ano niya spiritual uh, challenges like spiritual dryness no yun yung mga mga nagiging challenges sa kanya and of course uh, for not believing the sisters for not believing and the church in general for not believing in her mystical experiences but those that uh, those sacrifices small sacrifices Hindi niya yan, ano, hindi niya yan tiniting ng negatibo. She look at it as heroic virtues. Imagine for someone like her no, na pudpud uh, ng pasakit pero tinitingnan pa rin yan positively. So we can be like her. Mga small ano natin, no? small sacrifices everyday halimbawa uh, na stuck tayo sa traffic. No? Small sacrifice lang yan. Or halimbawa na delay ang misa, meron ka pang kailangan gawin, pero na-delay ang misa. Those are small sacrifices. Or you're waiting for someone na ubos na yung oras mo sa kakaintay. You have a meeting. no Yung ka-meeting mo is not yet there. no Small sacrifices. You can do anything. You can use make use of the time. Halimbawa, you're in the traffic, you can pray the rosary. You can do many things kapag hindi nangyayaring isang bagay na inaasahan natin. So, It's just a matter of refocusing. Instead of focusing on the negative uh, side of the event, you know, we can refocus and make use of uh, the situation para mas uh, mag-improve tayo spiritually or we grow spiritually.